Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Hasna and today we will begin the discussion of the hip bone. Keep in mind that this is only one side hip bone. There are about two hip bones that make up the hip girdle and the two hip bones along with the sacrum and coccyx make up the pelvis. So as we all know the hip girdle is connecting your axial skeleton to your lower limb. Let's talk about its major bone. This is the hip bone and it is an irregular large bone. The hip bone has three parts. These three parts are the upper part known as the ileum, the anterior thin part known as the pubis and posterior thick part known as the ischium. Now let's talk about the side determination of the bone. The first point in side determination is this cavity right here. This is known as the acetabulum. The acetabulum is basically a cavity for the head of femur to form the hip joint. The acetabulum is supposed to be directed outwards and laterally. Hence, it should be on the outer side of your body. However, still, this can also be on the outer side of your body on the right side. Well, this is when the second point of side determination comes into play. The second point of side determination is Superior to the acetabulum lies your ileum bone, which is a flat expanded bone. So this has to be superior to this. So that means we need to keep it like that. However, similarly, we can even keep it this way and make it of the right side hip bone. That is when your third point comes. The third point states that inferior to the acetabulum is the obturator foramen. Anterior part of the obturator foramen is formed of a thin pubis bone and the posterior part of this obturator foramen is made up of the thick ischium bone. So, antro inferiorly lies your pubis and postro inferiorly lies your ischium. Hence, this is the hip bone of your left side as according to the side determination, the acetabulum is directed laterally, the flat ileum is superior, antro inferiorly or anterior to the obturator foramen is a thin bone called the pubis, while posterior inferiorly to the acetabulum or posteriorly to the obturator foramen is this thick bone known as the ischium. However, we have not yet determined its normal anatomical position as we still have to discover how to hold this bone right. Okay, we can hold it like this and say, okay, this is the normal anatomical position. No, this is not enough. You need to state three more points. And those are, since this is the pubis bone, it has a tubercle on its superior part. This tubercle and this prominent area called the anterior superior iliac spine, these should be in the same coronal plane. So if I keep my hand like this, they should be leveled out. So for this, I'll have to, I cannot keep the bone straight. I'll have to make it lie down a little bit. Second point is that this area is going to meet in the median plane with the other hip bone. Hence, this should be kept in the median plane and you have to keep it this way. Finally, the pelvic surface of the pubis bone is supposed to be directed a little upwards and backwards. This is your normal anatomical position of the hip bone and it is of your left side. So a tip to hold your hip bone in its normal anatomical position is first determine the side so you know this is the left side hip bone. Now what you have to do is find the greatest notch or the arc. As you can see this is a huge notch. Over here you have to place your the cleft between your thumb and your index finger right here. Now you know that this is the posterior side of the hip bone. You have to find this anterior superior iliac spine just below it. This is the anterior inferior iliac spine. This is going to accommodate your index finger. Once you've held it like this, you've almost come close to the normal anatomical position of the hip bone. What you have to do now is make sure that the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle are in the same coronal plane. I'll have to, to make it lay down a little bit for that. And finally, make sure that the medial surface of the pubis bone is coming in the median plane. So let me just fix that a little bit. And finally, the pelvic surface of the pubis bone should be a little upwards. And here we have the normal anatomical position of your left hip bone.